。最近抖音 Make Up 真的有点火，在 TikTok 搜索量达到12亿了。那么这是什么概念呢？让我们来对比一下。这个是韩妆词条的浏览量，一共16亿。这是另外一个韩妆词条的浏览量， 8亿6千万。而且这两个词条往下拉，会发现很多根本就是小红书或者抖音美妆博主、倒视频的，为了增加流量而浑水摸鱼，要么抖音 make up 和 Korean make up 一起打，要么直接装成韩国人的。但如果他真的是一个韩国人做的美妆视频，是不会同时打“抖音 make up” 标签引流的。下面让我们来看看外国人的仿妆成果。I'm sorry, but what is this? It's a work of art, and I just need to try it on my face. Of course, without changing my features. So let's get into it. I feel like there are always some kind of lenses involved. So I need to decide: do I wear the brown lenses or the blue lenses? I feel like the eyebrows are always minimal and thin. Skinny legends. But I also want to make them straight. Not a lot is straight here, but the eyebrows are gonna have to be. The Dojin makeup girly skin is always super glowy. So I think it's really important to prep your skin really well. I'm gonna do lenses before I put on my foundation. Going with the brown ones. I hope that works. Do you ever think about how weird lenses are? Like we just let something vibe in our eye all day long. I would use a cushion foundation, but I don't have it. I'm gonna use my sponge. We are going for very minimal and very light, barely touching it. And the contour. I thought about skipping it, but we are just gonna do a dot. That is where I'm stopping. Also, I feel like powder blush is a lot better for this occasion, but I just want to do a little bit. Even that one dot is too much. Okay, listen, I needed more blush. The blush was not blushing. How do I still have dark circles? <sighs> I'm just gonna lightly powder my face. I feel like if I baked, it would defeat the whole skin-like moment. I am doing a little nose reconstruction. This is the right moment to go absolutely insane with the highlighter, and that is precisely what I'm going to do. I really want to keep my beauty mark, and finally we can move on to the eyes. I'm gonna have to do. The guy saying you look better without makeup, because apparently it's a big problem. Yeah, because it's rude. Like, put yourself in their shoes. Let's let's imagine that you've put effort into something, and then somebody comes along to tell you that they'd wished that you hadn't. It's rude, right? They're basically telling you that they've that you've wasted your time because what you have done doesn't serve them in some kind of way, assuming that it was meant to when it most likely wasn't. That's a rude thing to do, and that's also ignoring the fact that women in general, throughout their entire lives, have been told what to do, what not to do, what to wear, what not to wear, in order to serve men in our society. It's really annoying, and it's just rude. What would be better to say, and would still get your point across, is to say something like, "You know what? I think you look gorgeous even before you put makeup on." So then you're getting your point across. You're saying that you think they look good without makeup, whilst also not negating the efforts that they've put into their makeup when it wasn't for you. But also on top of all of that, nobody owes you a positive response for an unsolicited comment about their appearance. Just remember that. To this. Let's go. Paint on your foundation. I don't want to see a single pore. Concealer. Yes, I'm putting hair gel on my eyebrows. Don't judge me. The sun's in my eye. Put on a shit ton of powder, babes. I look like a big brown egg. How do you guys do this inner corner thing without permanently blinding yourself? Oh my god, I'm struggling. Guys, I have no idea if I'm doing this right. I'm just going with it. I'm trying to make my eye bag look cute. This is a trust the process video. Highlighter down the nose. I'm using eyeshadow as blush.
这个应该是中国人，不确定是不是本人的账号。有人说是搬运的，不是本人。他也是被点赞最多的 Doin Make Up 视频之一。